Hello and welcome to yet more Perpetual Testing. On tonight's numerical romp through pseudoscience, we have two chambers by Dark White. Starting with this one, this is DW76. So a big thank you to Dark White for recommending this one and the one that will probably follow. Uh, we have foregone the usual signage room in favour of this, uh, what you call that, it's an octagonal type tunnel thing. That would make the Death Star designers proud uh, as a camera. Can't do anything about that. Uh, what else have we got going on? I'm immediately drawn to the flashing. And I see a door. A door that appears to have a handle. So uh, flashing in a video game definitely means come check that out. We'll be checking that out shortly. Uh, we've got a tube dropper up there. Fizzler, some panels. We've got this button right here. This button that does... It drops a cube. Apparently it drops a cube. And did it make you flip around? Yes, yeah, slash and slash. I do like it when a chamber starts solving itself for me. Saves me a lot of time. Uh, we got lots of deadly deadly goo to deal with. We've got sort of ramp configuration up here. Uh, we've got some more chamber down there. In fact, our exit appears to be down that way. And that looks like it lines up perfectly with this panel that made itself apparent to us. Yeah, that looks like it will definitely go down that way. And you have a little bit of a ramp. So, um, yeah, we're going to be using that, I guess. We've got a fizzler here, which is triangle. Uh, oh, well, there's a triangle up there. And that is a button on the wall. The most inconvenient place of buttons, but usually this game has a way of sorting that out. Uh, also, lots of holes. This does look like the kind of map where there's going to be secrets to look at. We've got a glass ramp here. That would be an absolute bitch in socks, so good thing we've got the long full boots. What's this flashing about? Ah, doors that definitely have handles. And if they got a handle, that means we can open them. And I mean, it's flashing, right? That's definitely a come hither, come check this out kind of deal with gel flow in that direction. Um, we're going to need to find a way to get in there. We've got some panels here. There's a conveyance beam. Going to be very handy for that button, I feel, because there is a bunch of panels on the wall there. Yeah, some of them line up. Uh, what else have we got? We've got these panels, which are sort of set back. Okay, we've got panels that go sort of in and out there, uh, which actually makes sense and means we can go try something immediately. First of all, though, can't do anything about you either. Yeah, with those there, and we do have this bit of mesh, that is how we can go and see if we can get at those doors. If we slide through here, and you're going to let me through? Don't tell me there's an invisible wall. Come on, squeak can fit through there. Look at the size of the gap. Shell, you fat bitch. Come on. Okay, so apparently we're not getting in there. That, well, no, you're definitely not going to let me in there. But they got handles, and handles means come look. Is there a button on the wall? No, just handle doors. Okay, um, maybe they're for display, but they're flashing, but maybe they're for display. Okay, we've got a conveyance beam. Uh, we've got a conveyance beam, we've got a button on the wall, we do have a cube. We only have one cube. Well, we can probably start shuffling that cube about, right? Is there any panels up there now that I think about it? There's another door up there, isn't there? There is another door up there and there's some big ass lights highlighting things. Gotta say, I do like the addition of these handrails because, uh, well, I have a habit of falling in the goo and you've conveniently put handrails everywhere to stop that. Is there any panels up there? I don't want to go through the fizzler just yet. Is there anything up there? Is that? No? What about that? No. I think that might be more display teasing type stuff. Uh, let's see about shifting this cube over to that button. Uh, which one of you lines up? Probably you. Okay, that's flipped that back around. That's taken the cube there. Now we're going to, I guess, try and grind this cube along the wall and up to probably you to press that button. So this might take a few attempts, and at some point you might hear the cube drop in the goo and me swear profusely. Can you move over a little bit more? Keep going. Going to have to keep checking every five seconds. You going up. Ah, oh, wait, would I have to do this fast while it was in midair? Are you going to be able to, like, get over the little ledge of the button for me? Oh, it's rolling. It's rolling into place. A little bit more. Just edge over a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, that takes care of that fizzler in the middle there. Uh, well, I'm guessing we want that panel again to conveyance beam in that direction since this lets us through. That does mean we need the cube. Oh, this side the fizzler so we can get rid of the cube are you by any chance a 
self respawning kind of cube. Um, are you for me to drop it? You are. Uh, can I? That's it. You go over the railing. Can I just drop that somewhere where I won't die? And you give me a new one. Give me a new one. That puts that panel back. And that is indeed what this little bit of ramp is for. Okay. Uh, if I leap up into you, you'll take me through the Fizzler. It's an observation room that nobody's ever in. Into here, where we have a bunch of deadly, deadly goo. And our exit is not quite as easily accessible as you'd want it to be. Uh, there is some panels down there. There's also a rather large crack, which I believe was your mother's nickname in high school. But, uh, yeah, let's not get into that right now. But we do want to try getting balls deep into there, probably. Because I don't think we can go that way. Is there any... There's... That's a panel on the other side. We're not getting at it. There wasn't anything connecting to this, I don't believe. Uh, I guess we're going down that way. Because there is, well like an island of debris for us to land on, and then we can go check out your mother. But, um, that's a teasing exit, isn't it? It's one of those maps with lots of little teases and gaps that I'm going to have to keep checking everywhere. Because it's a rule, right? It is a rule in this game. If the door has a handle, we should be able to get into it. Otherwise, you'd use that door without the handle, indicating, don't go this way, don't even bother. Even though, well, I still try them, don't I? Um, let's land on you. I can probably land on that, right? onto this little island. Yep, ever so slightly slanted. Right, uh, there is a way to go in there into the very, very flooded office areas. Those are all desks. We can't use any of them. There is a panel back there, though, behind, uh, what do I usually call that? It's a server block, right? I can get into you. That's kind of inconveniently in my way. Can we budge you over a little bit more? Is that any better? Do we reckon we can make that jump to that desk? I reckon I can make that jump to that desk. No, apparently not. Ah, you've checkpointed me here. Very, very kind of you. Saves doing all that bit again. Uh, so we do want to go down in that way, down towards your mother's crack. You know what? I'm going to drop that line right now. I apologise to your mother. She's probably a lovely, lovely lady. Let's jump down onto our little debris island without sliding into the goo. Uh, so we can't quite make that jump, apparently. It is just a little bit too far. Can we get on top of the filing cab? That's probably a panel, right? Yeah, that makes far, far more sense. Because uh, that should line us up with those bit of desks. We've got a bit of a platforming kind of deal going on here. I could probably make that and land somewhere safe, right? Otherwise, this might be kind of embarrassing. Or oh, we can stand on the ledge of the wall. Let's jump onto... That looks a bit sturdier than the filing cabinet. Yep, although this is slightly larger than I expect it to be somehow. Right, anything in here? We've got a bit of horror scene lighting in here, but not much else. What's causing the currents in here? There's something in there. There's always something in there. Uh, we can get through here though, right? If I, like, basically do some platforming into here. No, we got to crouch. Okay, slide up onto... Ah, okay. There's going to be a fair bit of platforming. We've suddenly turned into like a Super Mario kind of level. Uh, what have we got going on here then? There's you. There is a room in there that I want to go check out. There's also a room in there I want to go check out. Let's, um... Oh, can I just look in there? If I stick like you there and you there, is there anything in there? Is there... There's a way in there, right? Can I get in there? Can I get in there somehow if I uh, put the RE... Let's budge you over a little bit more. No, okay, but you over just a little bit more. Put the orange there. Is there... There's definitely somewhere in there, right? Can I get in there now? Do we reckon we can get in there? Or am I going to end up in the goo again? There. Ah, we can get in there. Okay. Uh, there is stuff to land on. If we can make that jump now. Is there any reason to go in here, though? Hold on. Hold on. Is there anything in here other than more horror lighting? Um, No, this appears to be a flooded room of nothing. Why is this here? Is this to trap people like me who would normally just go straight in here? Um, yeah, I mean, you did block it with a whiteboard, so I guess this is kind of unnecessary to go in. Let's uh, check out the next one if we can. About there? Anything in that one? That's also got stuff. Is there any way to get to that? Do we reckon we can make it to that desk there? We can. There's nowhere to go from here, though, is there? Uh, let's put orange there. What is going on in there? I reckon that's just another room 
to tempt you. There's no blatant way to get into that one either, is there? An angle we could peek in? I can find the corner of this desk. Have you got a wall in there that'll work? No, I think I'm hitting the door frame or that room doesn't actually exist. Uh, so not that way, we should probably... Well, first actually check out that door there just because I feel the need to. Uh, let's put blue about there. Is there anything in that one? Again, there's more stuff. But again, I don't think I can actually get to it. But there is a bunch of debris over there. We can probably get to that, right? I, I kind of want to go back over there where it feels ever so slightly safer. Put you there. Let's uh, jump onto the photocopier. Everybody hates photocopiers. Uh, right. There's some stairs. Is there any way to get into there now? I mean, there is walls in there, but again, I think that's another room just to try and tempt you. We should probably go up the stairs, right? Because stairs tend to be a bit sturdier than half-submerged photocopiers. Around here, we have entered the backstage areas of Aperture. Ooh, the first door of a handle I can... It's a door of lies. <sighs> it's got a handle, it should open and take me to something cool. That's the rule of this game. Uh, what about round this way? Round this way, we've got another... See, look, this one has a handle. And it is open. That, that, that's, that's, that's how that works. Right, in here we have an actual test chamber through the window. Uh, can I... breakable glass? No, you're not the breakable type. Here is a fully functioning photocopier. More aperture garbage. Coffee cup? Nope, not for me. Uh, we can take a chair with us though, there's probably not much point. There's another door in... hold on. A little area to peek into. I have to look in every nook and cranny on these maps. Just in case. You never bloody know. There's always a possibility of secret stuff. Uh, in here with the chair, we have a rather strange crack in the wall. Huh. That's kind of bizarre. Uh, we do have a window here into another, another actual test chamber with lasers and broken stuff and buttons and cubes. Laser reflection cube. Uh, anything else before we go in there? Bunch of these shoe boxes, another chair. Let's put that in there just in case we need to sit down. No, just because I like throwing those things around, really. You do anything? No, anything else? Can't even pick up the coffee cups. What would have caused that? The very specific hole. What would have caused that? Uh, anything? Do not blah blah blah. Yeah, we've all read those a million times. Right, through here into an actual science room. We've got a fizzler. Bunch of deadly, deadly lasers, and more deadly, deadly lasers. Another door down the far way there. Uh, what's this, though? Chair. Right, I don't need these anymore. Chair, you go there. Catch fire. Right, uh, do you move? Are you an auto elevator? Because there is more test chamber down in there. I wonder if that connects to the other one? So we might actually be finding out... Ooh, slidey. You're a bit of slidey metal work. Does that mean I can't go in there? Does that mean there's nothing in here to peek at? There's another door. There's another door with a handle. God damn it. Uh, up there. No. No, these are all just doors of lies to try and tease you. That's burning really well. Oh, just as I said it, it extinguished itself. Uh, you give me that cube that we saw earlier. There's a hole up there as well. There's the other side of that crack. Yeah, what would cause that? That's really specifically shaped. Uh, right, chair. You can get fizzled. You can also get... Was there already a chair in here? That's not my blood, is it? Uh, something dirty happened in here. Right, you go in there as well. Uh, let's put you into that relay I can see there. That gets rid of this first fizzler for us. Where we have a room with a faith plate that appears to be lined up with... Well, deadly, deadly lasers. Or are you going the other way? There's only one way to find out. You go... Oh, you chuck me back here. Interesting. And you've got a hole as well. Does that mean you also have a faith plate in... Okay, we've got some sort of actual puzzle element to deal with now, haven't we? Some sort of laser locking thing. Okay, so that one gets rid of that fizzler. Uh, is it going through anything else out there? No, it goes straight through the door. There's a button at the far end. So, we got another laser there, which means I could probably swap you to that. Swap you to that, which is number one, which is a good place to start. Uh, there is, what's that, moon and cross. Well, that's both of those. 
Okay, so we need that laser cube in here. Uh, you're doing... Actually, you're not even remotely lined up. Can I have that? Just a bit neater. Just, just better. Just better. And better still. Come over this way a bit. These lasers do burn, just in case you were wondering. Right, so that laser should now be doing that, which turns that off. So that means I can have you. I can have you. Okay, with you, I could point you into there. Uh, don't stand on you yet, although we clearly need to go back on ourselves at some point for some reason. In here we've got... Wait, oh, okay, that laser's powered by being activated there. Okay, uh, what else we got? We got a relay here, which is... I'm guessing you just do that. Yeah, you just do that. Okay, cool. So we do need to probably go back on ourselves at some point. Uh, in here, we've got you, which we just tried. Is there anything to connect to these? Yes, you, but there's deadly lasers in there. Uh, well, you're doing that, so... Oh, wait, do I need the laser cube to come in here? Because then I could reflect you to there, but then that will close that one off, right? And I can't just go get that? Or when we use you, what does that do? That ballses everything up because I can't aim, apparently? Ah, because you're not running anymore because you... Ah, okay. We do need to uh, go back. That's what these are for. So we can safely take our cube back through here and stick it back in there again. With that doing that again, let's put orange back here. Oh, better than that. Right there. That maintains this one. Uh, that means you are free to come with me this way. And you can do... Hold on. Why are you... I don't have to... Oh, because you already... Yeah, you already triggered yourself, didn't you? Okay, take you into here. Uh, then we do need to... Well, actually, you can't use that one. We do have to use that one. So let's just have orange anywhere. Oh, orange there. Ah, but that doesn't keep that on. So I have to point the laser back? No. No, let's... Uh... Well, what if I move you? If I move you, you go off. So, yeah, okay. And that's why we have these. So that we can safely go all the way back without the lasers. And start this again. Okay, this is a proper, like, little laser logic deal. So this uh, might take me quite a while. I'm not great at these among many, many, many other things. Uh, orange uh, there. Should be maintaining that. If I'm not happy with that lineup, that should work. Uh, let's grab you again. Take you... Obviously not lined up nearly well enough. See, that's why I have to reposition 20 times and still get it wrong. Right, you. Through there. You. No, better than that. There. You. There. Is that... That's going through, right? That's definitely going through by my perspective. So now you should be able to come with me again. Yep. Yeah. Then you come and you do that one. That stays on. So let's take this in here again. Take that one into here. Uh, so you're a self-perpetuating laser. If I block that, we lose that. So we do have to have the laser from in there. We don't have it unless... That's why you have to stay all the way back here. That's why we can go all the way back. Yeah, I think. So you point through there again and you stay there and we'll come get you again in a minute. So that should keep that open. Through to this one. Now we should be able to put orange there and aim it a little bit better to do... Yeah, thank you. Do that, which has done all of that. Right. So now, I could put a portal in there, because it hasn't turned off the deadly lasers. We do have to get the cube through by the looks of it as well. Um, yeah, okay, so now I can just go get it again? No, because you're going to go off. You'll turn off though, right?
slightly confused now. Because if I just go get this cube again, you will put this fizzler back, right? Yeah, that's no good for me. We need... definitely need that. Now we definitely need the orange to do you, at least for the moment. And we do get you to come in here. And then... Well, why wouldn't I just take it into this one? Because we need the orange again, but that will go off if you're not there. Alright, I'm getting confused. Uh, you do need to be out here, surely. Yeah, I'm not good at these type of actual logic puzzles. Especially the laser lock combo type deal. That should be keeping that open, right? Ow, ow, ow. Then, well, actually, you're still on. So, can't I just bring you in here? Bring you in to this one. Have I just seriously overcomplicated this? Because now I could just go in there, right? Yeah, I, I think I dramatically overcomplicated that. Because now we're in here and we can place you on the button. And are you, uh, yeah, you are the actual exit. So that was DW76. Let's go ahead and do DW79 now. And why the missing numbers, you ask? I don't know. This is the order that Dark White sent them to me. And therefore the order I will be playing them in. Uh, this one has a laser of the burning variety there. And it has got a deadly laser blocking our way into there. And I just heard something shift. Something back there behind this deadly laser. Uh, which needs a square to turn it off. We have got an elevator on a quite short looking timer, which also needs this relay here. That's probably going to be related to this laser, because that's usually how those works. Uh, this button will, in fact, give us a laser reflection cube, which we can stick in there. That should give us everything we need to do this elevator. Uh, this elevator, when activated, takes us up to... Ah, it takes us up to a button which is a cube recepting type, which is actually square and is what will do those deadly lasers there. I've just noticed there is a whole behind the scenes area kind of thing going on in there. Now there is another door with handles, but uh, we have been lied to already, unfortunately. So is this a real behind the scenes bit? There's another door with a handle there. Any panels in this one? Is that a panel? Is that a panel? No, I think that's actually a table. Tables don't actually work as panels, unfortunately. Uh, no, but there is doors with handles, and we know the rules, but as I've said, we've already been lied to a bunch of times. Uh, so we need this one cube up on the one button up there. Now, we've got these panels here. Is there some sort of clever self-perpetuating deal going on here? Nope, because we don't actually have anything to turn this laser on or another panel to work with. So, uh, no, not that. Why is there the two panels in here, then? I mean, we can do this nice crossover thing. We can also make Portal do one of its classic glitches, where the laser can't quite work out what level of the universe it's on. Yeah, you gotta love the fact that glitches like that still exist in this game, even after, what is it, 10? 11 years? It's 10, right? It's 10 years. Yeah, I think 10 years. Anyway, we do also admire Portal's visual glitches. Uh, we can go back up there, and since there isn't any other way, I'm guessing that you are in fact a classic mid-air cube snatch kind of maneuver, right? So let's put a portal... I don't want you to drop in, I want you to go there. Now, if I can actually pull this off, I will be impressed, because this is the sort of thing that usually takes me forever. Uh, let's try and snatch this cube on the way past, and then up, 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 up. Holy crap, on the first time. I never pull off that stuff on the first time. Awesome, okay, that sits in there. That has in fact gotten rid of these deadly lasers. Go through a fizzler into yet more chamber. Uh, we've got a bunch of tubes whizzing past. Tubes, cubes. It's embarrassing how often I say tubes instead of cubes and vice versa. Uh, this room also has a load of bloody great holes in the floor. Are these real holes in the floor? I think these are... That's big enough for me, right? I mean, Shell is enormous, as we all know, but... I think even she could slot through there. Is this a real hole? That looks like a real hole. There's actually a panel down there for some reason. Probably to get us at that, there is also a door down there with a handle. Now, uh, we have been lied to a bunch, but I still have to try them if I can get at them. 
Can we get at you? There's enough deadly deadly goo. That looks sturdy enough. I can probably get across there. Yeah, right. Are you real? Another door of lies. So, so many lies. We do have a cute uh, ball receptacle down here, though. For a ball that we'll probably get at some point. Let's get back out of here. It's up to where the actual test is taking place and see what else we got. Got some angled panels. We got our exit right there. Might be an exit, might be more chamber. You look like you're what I heard swinging or maneuvering about before. Yeah, you look like you're on angles, because in fact, aren't you blocking that? Because there is an emitter there, directly directly connected to you there. So you're a self-perpetuating laser kind of deal, if we can get this thing out of the way. That one is X when received, which will give us whatever is out of that tube. And we've got to avoid these holes, so uh, we can have a look what's in that tube, can't we? We can have a look through here, in there, that's where we get our ball. Uh, we've got some angled panels down there. There is another laser emitter here, up to what is probably another laser self-perpetuating kind of deal. And you connect to this panel there. Ah, you got a faith plate. So at some point we go through there. I mean, we go through there better than we're doing right now. We're actually hitting that so hard that our face is clipping right through. That is some very, very aggressive faith plating to a panel. Uh, so at some point this will be more useful. For now, it's just a concussion on demand kind of thing. Let's get back out of here and stop that before it does too much damage. Uh, angled panels, angled panels and lasers. Lots of little holes to look into. I think that one is just a decorative hole. Uh, what else can we do? There's stuff up there, clearly. We could actually have a better look before going through. Up there is a button. We probably want to press that button because there's a laser reflector cube up there. Uh, can I get out of here without falling down a hole? I can. Oh, is that how we get up there? That might be how we get up there. Is that a launchy kind of thing? Let's uh, put you there. And let's try and land into portal here. And smack into a tube, almost fall down a hole. Try and avoid that situation in the future. Yeah, that's just going to send me into that tube. Uh, you though. How oh, will you line up with that? Let's put you on there, laser out of you, but we want it there. There, there, that flips that round. That's how we get up there, I assume, then. Uh, wait, you go away. Do you? No. You? Ah, you're a self-perpetuating deal. That's why that works. Let's put you on there, then. Let's put the orange on there. This should send us concussion-free up to here. Almost concussion-free. Uh, press U. Deliver me cube reflector. Right, what do we do with this cube reflector? Um, do I need to get you to move somehow? Or get the laser up here somehow now? Where do we point stuff? We can have laser coming out of there, and then I could hit you. But then I gotta be able to get back up. Well, you stay there. Can I hit down here by like leaning off? Come on, give me that. Give me that pixel. Or just go around this way. Makes more sense. That's actually what that's for, isn't it? Let's put you there. Uh, then let's point you into. It's not quite high enough. It is if I budge you up slightly. Not quite that high. Is that not going to let me? Just, come on, just, just give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Right, what does that do? Self-perpetuating ball dropping repetitively into the goo. Probably go get that ball and put it on the ball receptacle down there, right? Seems like a good thing to do. Let's grab you then. Can I have a ball, please? Thank you. Uh, let's put this anywhere. Let's actually put it in this nice little groove here. Is that what that's for? Maybe. Uh, there was a panel down by that broken door of lies that we can get down there with. Don't need the laser. Let's go the other way. Through you. What happened there? Did the ball do something weird? Why were you in the air a minute ago? You're up to something. Don't trust you. Anyway, let's go through this one then. Uh, onto this little bit. Jump onto the sturdy bit of debris. Can't quite see where I'm going because there's a ball in the way. Jump onto the door of lies panel. Into the goo. Apparently I was in the air. Uh, okay, where are we at? We're at this point where we can grab a cube. You checkpointed me up here, which is actually very kind of you. Let's uh, leave you here for the moment. We want a hole there, which is, you know, the layman's term for a portal. Let's put another one of our holes there. We get you. We had to budge you up a little bit, didn't we? Just ever so slightly. 
because you are self-perpetuating when I can actually get you to do the thing. Stop burning me and just go in there. Now we've got a ball dropping continuously down there. Is there a better way to do this than just blindly jumping with a ball in my face? Is there a hole I can drop it through? I might be able to drop it over there. Let's uh, see if I can drop you over here. And then I don't even have to go down there. Although somehow I don't think you'll uh, stay. Am I directly above? Land in there and stay. I gotta go down there. I gotta go down there. There's no way I can trust that. Uh, ball. Right, new ball. New ball, thank you. Uh, let's put you in this little dip again. Put the orange there. Oh, I said orange there. Yep. Uh, then the blue on. Where's that panel? Where is it? It's down there. Let's take this ball down and attempt not to step into the goo. Through onto you. First step isn't too bad. Second step is kind of hard to see where the fuck I'm going. Uh, there. You sit there. Sounds like the door is open. Now let's try and get back without going in the goo again. Again, thank you. Yep, burn on there just for good measure. Go around the big hole and we can get through to... Well, first, do you do anything? No. I take it you want me to go in here. There's an ever so subtle hint going on here that we might actually want to go into here. Can I just climb through? I just, 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 yeah, I can just climb through. Right, we have found some sort of meeting room. We've stuck to the floor chairs. Anything for me to play with? Just a clipboard. Right, we're taking clipboard into here. Ooh, blue corridor. That's unusual. Door with a handle. Door with a handle. Working door. No, door of lies. Door of lies. Actually open already. What's the one over here? The one over here is a gigantic empty room with chairs. Uh, anything else going on in here? No, this must just be this chamber's access to the photocopier. Okay. What's this room for? The last chamber had a room of uh, why did I come in here as well, didn't it? Okay, this one then. We'll go this way. You may work with robots, but can you take a bullet like one? Yes. Several, but after a certain point, no more. Uh, right, that door is open. This one has a handle. Right, you see, design-wise, that's why you use the door without the handle, because people like me will keep trying them. Uh, tube whizzing cubes of no use. Is that something? No. Okay, we'll go through here. Through here. Aperture's a weird place with its corridors, right? It would be horrible to work here. I mean, other than the fact that the place wants to kill you half the time. It's just a kind of awkward working environment to get about, isn't it? Oh, I hear turrets. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. There's turrets in there. Uh, is there a way to screw up the turrets? Hey, turrets, get the chair. They don't target chairs, do they? All right, fine. You go there. I don't know where you went. You went somewhere back there. Okay. Let's just drop them like that then. And you... And you, 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 thank you. Where's your friends? That's not a turret, that's a chair. Uh, you can probably drop through, thank you. What's that? Oh, it's another turret. Oh, weird for a sec. That one I can't get rid of there. Anyone else at a cheeky angle? No, I can just drop down behind them then, right? Hello. Yeah, hi. Target lost. You see nothing. Uh, you go through there. You come off of there. You also go through there. And I'm done with you guys. Right, what have we got in here? And there is a very weird office. We've got some more broken stuff here. Is this for me to explore? Not quite. Was that a cube? I thought I saw a cube back there. Uh, camera, can I get rid of you? Really? you got just enough to cling on there. Fine. Right, what else have we got? Um, panels there. But they are not the portholing kind. Nothing with those. Are you just going to open? No, we definitely have to get somewhere. Are you just going to open? No, what are you connected to then? You're connected to what is ever up there. Can I get back up in there then? Get back up in there. We can. Let's go through here. Uh, where are we? We're up here. So what is up there? There is just a cube button. Well, I don't have a cube. Where do I get a cube? There's no tube to deliver a cube in here, is there? No, maybe that would just be a permanent button. Let's uh, do there. Do there. And up here. Are you a permanent kind of thing? Are you permanent? No. I do in fact need a cube from somewhere. 
Right, I do need a cube. There's nothing else to work with here. Okay, I've missed a cube, apparently. Uh, let's get back up in there, then, and see if we can go find a cube. Yeah, we definitely need a cube, right? Is there a cube? I'm stood on the door. That's new. Uh, is there a cube somewhere up here? Well, there's these. Do I have to bring a cube all the way from all the way back here? There wasn't one in the giant room, was there? No. Uh, all the way back here? I'm guessing all the way back here, then. Can I squeeze out here? Can you let me squeeze back out? Can I get back out? I can get back out that way. Uh, you should work. Right, I need a cube. Uh, the cube's up there, right? And you no longer do that. Is there a way I can get that cube easily now? Because you're not doing that anymore. Uh, we can have you do that. Do that. Flips that round. And then we do that. And we do that. And we fling skyward this way. Grab a cube. And we take this cube with us. Because it's actually we need it now. Take you through the wall in the hole. The wall in the hole. It really is embarrassing how often I say words backwards. Do I need that there? No, we just crawled through last time, right? We just crawled through, squeeze through. Come on, Shell, suck it in. Yeah, it really is embarrassing how often I say two words that are key to a sentence backwards. I, I really need to stop doing that. But um, I'm never aware of it until I've done it, so uh, that's probably not going to happen. Right, let's take this cube and stick it on that button that we saw previously. Uh, can I line that up here? Let's do you over there. You over there. Let's do you pretty much anywhere there. Grab a cube and attempt to go through with cube in hand. And up here, you sit on there. Keeps this door open. Uh, with this door open, let's get that portal out of the way, shall we? With this door open, we can go here. Is this open? This is open. I thought that was glass there. Uh, I see more turrets. Blue is portable. Interesting. Right, you're there. Can I screw with you as the floor portal? No. Well, if we just put that there, then. Nope. Do that. Uh, where are you? A little bit further on would have been nice, but I can probably grab you in time. Yes. Let's find somewhere fun to put you. Is there anywhere fun to put you? Nowhere fun to put you. In that case, you just get to look at the corner. That is your life now. You are a turret who stares directly into a corner. The saddest of life for a portal turret. Alright, down the blue corridor we have another large room. Yeah, okay. Lots of big rooms that I don't really know what we need them for. We have a giant crate, that's what we need it for. Right, giant crate come with me. Uh, in here. In here is... See, this door doesn't have a handle, therefore I know not to go through it. Although I already tried it. Up in there, hey? Okay. Well, I'll be back when I've looked at everything else. Uh, you. No, another door of lies. Do I need this crate? Do we reckon we need the bloody big crate? I don't think we need the bloody big crate. And I probably can't take the bloody big crate with me anyway. Right, up in here. Crawl through here. You can let me in? Let me in. Right, we have entered the air ducts. Uh-huh, probably through there. Probably through there. No one. Probably through these see another turret in there. Yeah, okay, I see you. And grates down there. Okay, where am I going? Uh, where do we want to go? Those are all grated off. Yeah, I know, you're there. In this one? In this one has a conveyance beam. Is there panels in there? I see that turret over there. Any panels? No. What can we get? We could go back, I suppose. And there was a panel behind the guy right at the back here, wasn't there? Anything else with you guys? Do you have anything under you? Nope. Yeah, okay. You did your best. Uh, this way, then, I reckon. So let's put that there. And I guess we're going to go back down into this giant room. No one. We've been over that. We'll go back into this giant room down here, then. Squeeze through here. Use any wall of choice here. And say hello to you. Uh -oh. No one. Right, you done? You're done? You go in there as well. 
Uh, that's glass. There's more chamber that way, though, apparently. Okay, I guess that is the actual end. That was DW76 and 79. Big thank you to Dark White for the both of those. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a chamber, then please do so by the usual means. I can't think of anything funny to say, so I will leave you with the comedy stylings of the comment section.